hello guys today I have another video for you and this time is the famous DD15 engine this is the 2019 design and we're gonna compare the to the older designs and see how Detroit has improved this engine this year uh, to start let's check it out this fuel filter they changed the fuel and water separator Daiko, the big filter they, they had before for this one now if you need this filter over the roads this like seems like you're gonna have hard time to get it because i don't think so there is aftermarket filters yet for this one maybe soon but as far as i know no right now and well there you have it that's an update other thing you can see right now here is like the intake throttle ball is gone that's good because i know another older detroit engine has this issue with the throttle ball they get got stuck or it has a problem with the regeneration so no more um, you can see this bar in here i don't know if you can hear it this is plastic they change it I guess to cut the cost to do the engine so that's <laughs> interesting uh, you have the other fuel filters the two fuel filters and they are being like a standard for Detroit diesel engines since uh, 2015 I think that's the first time I saw these kind of filters so that's good we have the uh, common fuel rail and it seems the same like the other designs I have I have checked it and some of them are thicker some, some of them thinner so it depends of your uh, engine we have the uh, engine harness uh, it's just a little bit updated for example you can see the EGR Delta pressure sensor is like different compared to the older ones um, this part from here is different um, and little things there that uh, you can notice right away here you can see the thermostat now stay to go uh, stay to go the outlet down it goes to the left so that's another change that made this year uh, there is no change in the high pressure fuel pump there is no change in there um, let me see what else oh the fuel the air filter is different no more the other one this one is a little bit smaller and now if you can see way there now that part as you can see over there this is a, that's another filter another air filter but that's for the air compressor which is uh, which I found interesting because now if the, now the air compressor has two filters it has this filter and now it has that filter over there uh, I don't know my helps to keep the air cleaner I guess for the air compressor which I get uh, the engine probably doesn't need it uh, also, you can check the oil filter module is quite different compared to the older ones. We don't have coolant filter anymore. It's gone. Uh, they say they don't need it. So that's good. So you're gonna save a few bucks on it. And the reservoir, the coolant reservoir is completely different. It's not the same anymore. Uh, even the air radiator yourself, as you can see on the top of it, it has nothing to do with the older designs. So, this is on the driver's side. Uh, for me, this engine on this side is friendly. I have work on it already. And um, uh, it's not that bad. Uh, we have something else I want to show you guys. Is the, you see the, way there is the doser block 
And the good thing about Detroit, they keep many things uh, from the older design. They just updated, but not by much. And it's the same like the since 2015. Now we're going to the other side. And before we do that, let's check it out something else. Like for example, this cool line, they're not the same. As you can see, there is no uh, there is no cooler anymore in the in the fuel filter assembly, you know, in the whole part. It doesn't need it probably anymore. And that's the reason why this hose comes from the compressor to the oil filter module. So that's nice freight liner. You make a couple changes, they are good. Now let's check it out the other side. Uh, we'll see what's different. And here we are. As you at first glance you say, oh no, this is the same design like 2015, but not at all. They change a couple things. And to start, you will see the EGR actuator is completely different. And if we check on the back of the actuator, let me see if I can show you with my phone. You can see how it goes directly to the uh, to the manifold. And the interesting thing is this. Now the EGR ball is before the turbo. Before the exhaust gases gets into the turbo, it passes through the EGR ball, which I don't know how we help that to the emissions, but who knows? We'll see how everything works down the road. Because before, if you remember, some models has the EGR ball in here. The other ones has in here. And now it's between this like white type uh, manifold in the middle. So in another video, I'm gonna try to show you how it looks, but this time it's just to have an idea at glance how everything is on this new update design from Freilander, uh, from Detroit, sorry. And we have our seven injector in here. It's the same injector you have always seen since 2007, I guess. For me, it's the same, just updated. You have the cover for the actual turbine and Thanks God this one don't come with it because those are really hard to work on it. You see the starter motor down there, the same like the older ones. And the problem with the ones that come with actual turbine, you see, if you need to replace those lines in there, I don't know, they probably, the, the, the lines are different. And if you need to replace uh, the manifold, the exhaust manifold gasket, it's a really pain, all right? It's a pain, a really painful thing to do. Uh, turbo uh, seems like the same design from older models. I I believe if you try to fit one turbo from 2016, 17 engine on this one, it will fit as long as it doesn't have actual turbine, of course. And let me see we have our crankcase breather there uh, it, it, it looks the same to me no surprises there and if you can check it out the front the fan uh, fan hub tensioners air compressor alternator and way over there the water pump they look the same to me so that's good the freightliner keeps couple things because it means if you have couple parts you know sitting there new or aftermarket you still can use them on these trucks and that's what I have for you guys today uh, seems like this engine is really tech friendly uh, other thing uh, we can check before we go is like the EGR cooler it might be slightly different like the other ones not sure about that but that's still really friendly to remove it and that's it I hope you guys like the video uh, there are a couple things that maybe you notice they are different but it's not by much 
and the good thing about Detroit diesel engines is like uh, you can take it to any shop pretty much and they can check it for you without wasting time thinking oh like for example Volvo they don't have diagnostic tool to check it or like Packard they don't have the diagnostic tool to check it and this one it works with uh, it might need to update the diagnostic tool but still working the same way like the others and PM wise you know to do all change uh, you use the same filters like the older designs yeah the older design same except for the fuel and water separator filters they are the same okay that's it guys that's all I have thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye